Yo guys, welcome to a Pokemon Go video. Um, right now I'm just going to show you guys how to do an excellent throw, like, um, how to, like, get an exact, like, excellent throw in a constant leap. So, consecutively, so you can, like, get the best chance of capturing these, uh, like, I'm not sure the numbers really, percent percentages really matter to capture it here. Where you get excellent, I think it's really random, but people think, say, and think that, you know, it matters. So, we're just going to do this real quick. So, basically what you do is you hold... Uh, the button down or press until you uh, find the circle you want all right so we're gonna get an excellent circle here all right there so now what you do is you wait for attack animation when the screen blinks white like that you'll see right now when he attacks so as soon as he stops attacking you to start throwing like this there you go see excellent now if you do it as soon as it stops attacking if you do it as soon as it stops attacking um, like we time it correctly you won't have to do that over and over again Watch, you'll see right now. See, that's two excellence in a row. Now, if you can tie it perfectly or seemingly all right, if you can't if you get the rhythm of the Pokemon, you'll be able to constantly do it. And that increases your chance of catching um, these legendaries out here. So, first day streak. All right, so we got another squeak in here. Now, I'm going to pine up this one just because this one's not good. But I'm going to use the same strategy that I was using, of course. This is like a known strategy right now, but it does make it easier. And the way I'm gonna do it, like like I told you guys, so attack animation, wait for it. As soon as he stops attacking, just time it to the point where it's about the end, and you, you, that's when you let go of it. And then, if you constantly do that, you'll never miss the ball, and you'll constantly get your great or your excellent throws, whatever you're trying to get. So let's see um, if he does it right now. Hopefully, attack. Come on, attack. Another thing, you have to be really patient. If you're not really patient, okay, that was a, that could have been an excellent with the little bear throw. But you know what I mean. So we'll try it again right now. Alright, so here we go. As soon as he attacks, we'll do that again. But, yeah. Right, not an excellent throw, but... Just get your throws in there. You should be able to constantly get it. As you can see, the circle hasn't changed a bit. It's still the same circle. So I'm still working with that circle as it is. Oh, another miss. <laughs> but the circle is still there. That's the key. The main thing is that you want the circle to be there constantly. And then the rest is up to you if you uh well oh, that's another loss. Kinda of pretty bad um throw here. But the circle's still there, that's what you want mainly when you're doing these. So if you if you uh, if you can get your throw in there really good, you should be able to do it. Alright, so we'll wait for another one and try to get an excellent throw this time. So it actually looks like you know it works. There we go. Alright, excellent throw right there. So the circle hasn't changed. And if you constantly hit it, that's your best chances of capturing or trying to get one of these legendaries. So here we go, another one. Uh, I don't know what that was. Looks like an excellent, but I guess not. Here we go. Alright, now capture. We'll try again. Oh, wait, not golden. We're trying to do pineapps. Golden, I think it, I would have caught it already, but... Right, another excellent. So you can see... The circle hasn't changed a bit. Still the same circle. Might not even get this one. But with the golden rasp and your constant throws. See, there you go. Another excellent. So basically, it's like that. It works pretty good. Um, that's your best chance of capturing these. And just trying to get your throws in there. As you can tell, I haven't missed a ball except for the one that I didn't time correctly. But other than that, it should be working pretty good. Another excellent, see? The circle never changes. So, whatever circle you want to work with, you can set it up to, um, so whatever circle you want to work with throughout the whole uh, cap encounter right there. So, we're going to wait for another uh, throw, another uh, attack move animation. And it should work. That's what you want, though. Yes, yeah, so you go. So, you'll never miss one. And you'll never get a bad throw if you do it the way I'm doing it. There you go, pineapple berry captured, double candy, there you go, got it. Really bad IV one though, it's likely one of the worst. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. You basically wait for attack, for the, you basically hold down the button for like what circle you want. You wait for the attack animation and t try to time your their throws how exactly you want them. And basically, the circle will never change if you can throw. If you throw the ball, you let go of the ball as soon as he stops attacking. This you timing is key. 
but you get you'll get the hang of it as soon as you start doing it and like that'll be way that's your best chance of capturing these Pokemon right now like that's your best excellent I guess you could say it's your best bet but yeah with that being said I'll see you guys in the Pokemon Go video hopefully you guys found this video useful if not well too bad cuz um I don't know what else to do to help you guys with that. Like, if you guys want some tips for that. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video then. Bye-bye.